done is done. It's gone. It's gone. Stop it. Bournemouth away today. Three and a half hours for what is most definitely going to be a 4 0 loss or more. We're going to have to see what happens, but um, I'm excited. Me and my dad are heading down in the car. Long drive. Hopefully there's a goal at least to show for it. So let's get into it. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you later. Take the exit towards Kings Park, Little Down. Hello, excuse me. Are you lost? Yeah, I'm in there. <laughs> we're the vitality. I'm not really very revived, but we're the vitality. How would you find the drive? Uh, <laughs> the what? The drive. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get to the pub, <laughs> don't you? I want a good pub and I need a wee. <laughs> oh, I reckon we'll get a draw tonight, 1-1. One, one. Yeah, baby. Come on, please. Come on. He's got his burger. Dunchick, Gardner, Bakuna and Graham. So he's playing 4 4 2 then, is he? We've got no Roberts. Roberts is injured. Roberts? Roberts is injured. Yeah, but we've well, we got his Pedersen playing in his position. But it appears Mark Roberts is injured as well as uh, George Friend. So we're running out of centre backs, which is absolutely worrying. It's worrying anyway, let alone the fact that we're playing against Bournemouth, who are a very, very good side. So I'm, I'm very worried about this next one. We need defenders in. You know when you found the away funds because there's the police. <laughs> Stadium. Great vibes. But we're gonna get hammered today. Oh, lovely stadium, shit pubs. Yellow Oh god help me. Todd Cantwell is playing for these. He's dangerous. Boy, uh, Cantwell then. Solanke should have been on the end of it. That should have been 1-0. 100%. 100%. Can't allow that to happen. We can't allow Cantwell to have time on the ball. What? We can't score too early here. You know what I mean? We score too early. We, we ain't got the drive to hold on. For a great meal of us, said, you'll never be my friend. My old tailor, oh, you were working as a waitress at. Keep right on telling Keep right on Almost a calamity by Everest there. But we got away with it. 15 minutes played, no goal scored yet. Remember, we are Boreham Wood and we can win this. No, no, no! Oh, God! It's gone, it's gone! It's gone! It's gone! Stop it! Sunjic that did 
Sonny is good at control the ball. They break back as we try to counter. Solanke slots it in. Number nine, Dominic Salanke. Pedersen almost, almost allowed him in for 3-0. And by the grace of the referee, thinking, you know, let's not be too harsh on Birmingham City here. He's given just the yellow. He's up. This is genuinely going to be like 8-0 again. I'm not joking. We're, we're 35 minutes in. It's 2-0. Could be 4 at the minute. I feel regret. Yeah, you just knew this was going to happen. Before I left, I was like, we're going to lose 4 5 0. Here we are. I'll tell you what, Mengi has got a handful with Solanke tonight. My God. What is the matter with you, man? Put your flag up, Lino! Get it in there, Colin. Anyone on it, keeper. I mean, to summarise that first half, there's not a lot you can say. I feel like we're... I'm, I'm almost happy to come away with 2-0 down. I thought it was going to be more. I think right now, we need the next goal. Otherwise, it's damage limitation. We can't let them score in the first 15. We need to we need to throw some at them. But they're just, they're just too good. And our defence looks absolutely shoddy at the minute. So, I don't know. But I'm scared. I'm very disappointed they didn't have any uh, sausage rolls, but I've been presented with a hot dog and half a can of beer for eight pounds. I don't know if it's a good deal. I feel like that's a poor deal, but Thank we move. Makuna has got more sauce than my hot dog. Look at that. There's a lot of sauce. So Ricky Dembele has just come on, the man that we wanted to sign and Bournemouth said here's a lot more money and potential. Hopefully he doesn't score. They've actually signed a ridiculous amount of players, isn't they? Mengi, Mengi Men is down injured and we are running out of defenders faster than I'm running out of care in the world. Mengi's come off the pitch uh, for Anel Hernandez and I don't know who's it. I couldn't tell you who's playing centre back right now. It could be me nan, me auntie or I'm telling you, Maxine Collins. Maxine, but no, it's great. We've got Graham. You've got Maxine Collins. You got Pedro, you got two fullbacks. My God, this defence is disjointed. Yes.
they're getting nervous. They are getting nervous. And for the first time in this game, we have got hope. That was too close. Juki hit that perfectly. Come on, come on. The players are up for it now. They weren't up for it before, but they can smell blood. La, la, la. la, la, la. Just like that, five minutes, five minutes of hope, and we come crashing back down to earth. Good, uh, good move from Bournemouth, to be honest. And the uh, fans have woken up again. Great move. Poor defensively again. You know, we've got a left back and a right back playing centre back. But there's still time. Get a goal before eight minutes. You never know. As we Seemed like an actual inch away, an inch away from Gardner's head, from Sunday's head, from Duke's head. Yeah! Go on, O'Neill! Please, O'Neill, do something! We'll take that! Fuck me, that was shit. That was shit. Go on, go on, go on! Oh my god, that was so close! Jesus Christ, that was close! It was Sunday, she got the last touch on it. Oh, wow. We weren't necessarily expecting a win, were we? I was expecting at least 4 0, 5 0. So I guess in the grand scheme of things, 3 1. And the fact that we felt like we might have been able to get some up with 10 minutes to go is a positive. We scored a goal. But yeah, all in all, not you know, not the best game in the world. It was always going to be a one to write off, weren't it? But that's it. Um, but you know, it's good enough performance. Again, the worrying thing is the defensive uh, injuries. We already had George Friend, then we had Mark Roberts. Now we've got Mengi. We don't know what, how long he's going to be out for. So yeah, it just shows our defensive frailties. Attacking, you know, going forward, we always seem to be able to score at least one goal a game one or two it's just defensively we need to tighten up Hernandez made a difference, yeah yeah Hernandez did make a big difference when he came on but all in all Bournemouth were just far too far too strong for us even with 10 men you know with, with our injuries and everything but you know it is what it is we move to the next game um, let me know your thoughts and you know what you thought about the game if you watched it on the telly you might have had a different insight let me know in the comments uh, like the video subscribe if you're new and we'll see you in the next one keep on up